Now, he's been keeping us entertained with his witty criticisms and savage put-downs for the last Ooh. 19 <laughs> series of Strictly Come Dancing. Can you yeah. believe it's been that long? But now Craig Revel Horwood has stepped out from behind the judging panel <laughs> onto the stage of his very own in his brand-new solo tour. Yeah. Yes, yeah, scary Lovely stuff, to have you. darling. Oh, scary oh, stuff, stand-up comedy and all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like. I was terrified, I've got to be honest, when I first started this a couple of weeks ago. I mean, I know it's been brewing for two years. Mm. People have bought tickets two years ago, then oh, COVID, da, da, da. Oh, yeah. So we've had it going really, it's written for four years. So uh, the terrifying thing was just going on the first time and just trying to remember two hours of dialogue. Wow. I just went, that is wow. By yourself. Yeah, it was scary. I am with my friend Ben Goddard, who is the piano player. Okay. And my musical director, ivories. because I do yeah. a lot of singing yeah. in it, mm. singing about my life, singing about my sisters, my family, the shows I've been in that people don't know about, and of course, um, a sort of big surprise that I'm now not keeping a secret, <laughs> that I'm playing a girl in Act One. Well, wow. a lady. Lady Lavish. Hence, Lady Lavish, darling. Tell us about Hence, her. my talons. Oh. My French oh, yeah. polish. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at those. I know, aren't they beautiful? I know, I, oh, I need to get to the Oh, look, look. That's not you. Oh, there she is. That's oh, wow. wow. Oh, I wish she still looked like that. She's an old Batlax now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, she, she was born in, born in Australia. Was born in Australia, yeah. And uh, out of necessity, really, I was trying to get work as a singer. And I was in the back row of the chorus in many musicals, and I wanted to go out and, you know, parade myself after midnight. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'll go to clubs and try and become a singer, and they weren't interested, so mm. I turned up in a red wig with a trumpet and a pair of tap shoes, and they all said, yes, please, we'll have you. <laughs> and I was like, the same material, but <laughs> stuff, as a woman. Weird. So I used to tell It was, yeah. Was get was work. That, so it? Which yeah. one do you feel more comfortable as? I mean, does lavish give you freedom to be something well, else? or, or are you? The beauty about uh, playing her for Act One is she can tell all Craig's secrets, all the right. stuff that he doesn't right. want anyone else to know. And she can swear. And she can do all the things Which you that would Craig never do, Well, the Craig would Revel Hall would come. No. <laughs> so it's actually really good. And then I do, in Act Two, I do the, the Strictly stuff. After that, you know, sort of uh, when I got into television and things like that, which has been amazing. And as you say, 19 series coming up to 20. Oh, no. Which is you didn't really believe in it in the beginning, did you? No, I thought it was going to crash and burn. Really? After three I think weeks. a lot of people really thought did. that, though. Well, I mean, the so idea. Random. The idea when they rang me and said, oh, it's a show about celebrities trying to dance with professionals. I said, that's impossible, six darling. Six weeks or something. Well, in three well, weeks it was back there. Look at you. Wow. Well, I mean, look. Len, Arlene. Oh, yes. You, I know. Bruno. That was actually on the second week because I was sat on... No, no, that is the first week. Mm, that yeah, is, the first that week, is yeah. because they moved me, because it was going down... Oh, because yes. Brucey didn't know all the names of the judges, so we just go from, <laughs> you know, left to right. <laughs> <laughs> to, so it went down the line. And I kept getting booed, and he said, no, 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 you've got to move him, move him, move him. You know, because I wanted to end oh, on a high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Come from where did the nasty well, I think come from? Where great did it start? British pantomime. I've never known about <laughs> booing, darling, until they booed. Oh, was me. it a horrible <laughs> shock then? It was. A, I mean, the first three words out of my mouth was dull, dull, dull. You know? Wow. And then just boo. And I, I, went, <laughs> I went, oh, is that what it's going to be like? And when then did suddenly you I was to... getting slapped across the face. When in the did street you, you start to believe in the round. show? When did you start to believe After it? After you... three weeks, because right. then the ratings went up, everyone fell in love with it, and it won the hearts and minds yeah, of the nation. It's... And not only this nation, 60 yeah. countries worldwide. Wow. I mean, it's, I mean a... it's insane. So it that's really thanks is. to the great it British public. Yeah. But it does. did almost uh, result in you losing your lovely fiancé, did it not? Your, your, your Mr Nasty character. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I, th th I think that's the problem. You fall in love and then suddenly you become nice. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> Meg, his aunt, saying you can't go with him, he's Oh, no, horrible. she hated me. That's yeah, what I mean. Says, oh, I see that. <laughs> that. The Tinder date. That's what so you're you talking about, isn't it? You You're going back to the beginning. Tinder. Yeah, on Tinder. That's amazing. No, we did, we did literally an hour meeting over smashed avocado and a, oh, and a you know, poached egg. So, sourdough. And, and it was, yes, yeah, sourdough, absolutely, no butter, obviously. Uh, but, um, but we just did a speed date of an hour. 
and just you... to see if we liked one another because I was oh. sick of like people oh, turning up and actually not looking like their photographs. And was yeah. he a fan or was he not? A fan? No, no, he'd never heard of the, never watched it. He really? was a gardener, he was like a culture, so he'd I never really that. watched TV. So the wedding is set for 2024. I've had to put it to 2024 mm. now because I'm uh, now I'm, I'm I'm pretending that year 2020 is like now. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's now, what we're doing. And, and then yeah. 23 is now busy. Uh, so I'm yeah. thinking, right, OK. And plus, we've moved house to the East Midlands, so we need to get the garden together because we want to have it in oh, yeah. our own garden. Great. And, and the guest list, and the guest going... list, and the guest list. Well, you're coming, oh, okay. <laughs> Everyone here's <laughs> coming. Well, no, I'm sure going to be inviting twerking. the Duchess of Cornwall, Ooh. because we get on very, very well. She's Are you real doing... buddies? Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah we, God, well, we work together for the Royal Osteoporosis Society, lovely. which is great. Everyone says she's just money. so lovely. She is hilarious, actually. She has a really wicked sense of humour. I really love her. She's down to earth, complete, nice, lovely person, like yeah. grounded, yeah, yeah. earthy, and yeah. I, you know, and you don't expect that actually from the royal. Do you think? You think you just yeah. have to bow and curtsy and yeah. all of that stuff, and that's a bit sort of terrifying yeah. in their company, but she's just totally natural and lovely. Well, listen, we wish you all the very best for the new yeah. tour. Well, Thank not the new you. tour, you're in the middle of it just now, I all am. balls and glitter tour. <laughs> um, and uh, we have got to go, but I'm not going to let us go before we have a shimmy off between Judy and Craig. Do it now. What? I want a shimmy, shimmy off. What? Come on, let's see it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's good. Oh,